Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did for his. For this particular footage, I am going to introduce three new things. And I apologize if it doesn't look visually appealing. I'm just doing all that I can, and I hope you guys would understand. So, three characters and such, and hopefully you guys could bear with me as I describe them to you through their data sheets. Here's the first one. It's a creature rather than a character. Ice Worm. Real name, none. Length, 50 to 100 feet. Weight, 25 to 50 tons. Status, villain in worm variant. Base, any cold environment. Intelligence, one brain. Behavior, bloodthirsty and savage. It'll only team up in swarms while it's hunting for bigger or harder prey. Lethality, extremely lethal to almost all life. Weaknesses, it's intolerant to extreme heat. Powers. It has great size and strength, sharp teeth, three eyes with infrared vision, acute senses, and can emit streams of freezing cold from its mouth. It can also camouflage within the snow. Eyes glowing red, hair none. Origin. When the prehistoric worms survived the disaster that ended the Mesozoic era, they evolved into different variants depending on the environments they resided in. Some worms lived in cold regions of the planet, becoming ice worms. Like the other variants, predatory and bitter ice worms have two natural objectives, hunting and mating. In the beginning of winter, the females fight each other for their desired mates, which ends by the winter solstice. By the end of winter, the two worms start gestating offspring, which would take a few weeks for the eggs to hatch. By the time the offspring become a few years old, they will kill and feast upon their father of their group. If there was any prey that seemed a bit challenging for the ice worm to kill solo, it would try to freeze and immobilize it with its icy breath. If that doesn't work, it would be best to shriek and call out to others for some assistance. Costume? None. Teams? Solitary? Or teams up for better hunting? Original inspiration? Graboids. This next character is the innocent counterpart of a villain that I've introduced in the past. And here it is. Jabby. Real name inapplicable. Height 1,500 feet. Weight unrevealed. Status hero and lover of Rex. With two X's. Base untrusted dimension. Mobile. Intelligence four brains. Behavior. Charming and willful, you'll do all that he can to honor his destined spouse. Lethality, only when threatened or during a fight. Weaknesses, his unbearable love for Rex. Powers, he possesses the same powers as Jabberwocky. Eyes deep red, hair none. Origin, in the untrusted dimension, the native Jabberwocky is rather an innocent dragon known only as Jabby who has a strong passion for the native Rex. One day, he and Rex were transported via portal to the wonderland of the default dimension, where the recovered Alice One asked them to help with another problem involving Jabberwocky and Sea Rex, who are apparently their evil counterparts. After defeating them in a hard fight, Jabby for the first time told Rex how much he cares for her, and they eventually became eternal spouses. Since then, they'll both do all that is necessary to help hero other heroes with objectives. Costume? None. Team solitary with Rex and other heroes. Order inspiration? The Jabberwocky. This is the last character that I'll introduce through this video. Just bear with me, please. Kaibot. Real name, inapplicable. 
Height, 458 feet. Weight, 92,000 tons. Status, villain turned hero and ally of Kygericus. Base, default earth and mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains. Behavior. The past objective in her software was to destroy both Kygericus and anyone who would get in her way. Now she does the reverse effect. Lethality. Very dangerous. She used to follow the orders of her creator. Weaknesses. She malfunctions whenever she gets soaked. Powers. She has great size and strength, built in blades. Can launch a series of napalm rockets from her shoulders. Can shoot a nuclear missile from her torso. And can project beams of cold from her eyes has jet thrusters on her back that enable flight, and has seemingly impenetrable body armor. Eyes glowing red, hair none. Origin In one attempt to destroy the innocents, the genius Neuron decided to create a kaiju android in the form of Kaijericus, due to being impressed with her destructive power. After some weeks, Neuron finally created a metallic version of the heroic kaiju, giving her the name Kaibot. Neuron then commanded Kaibot to fly to London, where she started spreading chaos around the city. Eventually, Kajirka showed up and attempted to defeat her opponent. After a while, she almost lost the fight until Aqua arrived and formed a tsunami that ruined Kaibot's coordinates. With her last chance, Kaijericus twisted her opponent's head backwards and ripped out her power generator, and Kaibot fell to the ground as the hero crushed a power generator in her claws. Outraged, Neuron disowned her creation, and Kaibot was restored by Madame Shear and the Blue Man Clan to serve as a reliable hero and ally for Kaijericus. Costume She's made of a nuclear-resistant metallic armor. Team Solitary with Kygericus and other heroes. Original inspiration, Kiryu. Well, I hope you guys appreciated those three uh, characters I've introduced, and I hope it's comprehensible and stuff like that for on your guys' behalf. I am trying all that I can to make this system work for apparent calculations and if you guys want you could like subscribe and comment down below it's your choice altogether and until next time i'm leviathan hope you guys have a fine next month and such and until next time in transmission